What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel here on Chickamauga Lake. Finally made it back to Chick. I love this lake. It's treated me so well in the past. Uh, two years ago in the Toyota we were leading day two. We, we finished up in seventh. Last year we finished up in fourth. This year we're going for the dub. Uh, I'm excited. We're going to go for the dub. But we got three days of practice here. I'm cutting it a little short. Normally I do about five days in the Toyota. And we are going to kind of roll this practice video together. Multiple days of practice here. A little longer episode than you're used to, but I'm excited. I just got out here. My mom actually moved to Huntsville, so I moved her in this morning and drove two hours to Chickamauga. Late afternoon here, we're just getting on the water. And my buddy, Dylan Pritchett, came out. How you doing? Man, never better. Yeah, you excited? Oh yeah. You say you've been turkey hunting. I've been turkey hunting, man. I hadn't gotten the bass bug in a while, and I'm excited to be out here. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a good afternoon. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's get some. It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna get to fishing around here, start on a little little cove and some lay downs, see what happens. And then my wife's coming up. We're staying in a camper this week, so it's gonna be fun. You're gonna get to see the camper life in this video. And gonna try and try and wreck them this week. I'm super excited. So with that, let's get practice started. bird die and flop around yeah we watch another bird come up from where that bird flopped down he came four feet past us no way his bird never died and he's about two and a half i shook him off and i go about 50 yep there he is mm -hmm. Let's see what he oh yeah that's a good one probably shouldn't have set it on him he's not that big he's nice that's yeah, that's a really healthy one. Dude, they have been Woo! super healthy. Look at that. Yeah. Butte, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Number one for the day. There you go. Two and a half. See ya. Hey, hey. First time you picked it up. Forgot your and he just had right it. Here, oh, you're good. Run it. <laughs> you the water so much. Right. As soon as you bash it up on bed, man, it's good. Wow. Then they'll drop it two feet, push them back down. Yeah, yeah. So they've been keeping it level. Yeah, but it should. They should be done with that. Raising it a little bit, maybe. Pool. There's one. Right, oh, he's pretty. He is pretty. Look <laughs> at that spot on him. See that? that? Look at that. Shaky head. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he does have that black spot on the tail. That is so pretty, guys. Look at that. Beautiful black spot on him. Pretty. All right. Number two. See ya. 
<laughs> Two in a row, guys. And we're half a mile apart. That's awesome. Nice. nice. And how far is Cody from you guys? Cody is, well, Cody lives in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That'll be fun. You do a lot of those? Be my first one, man. Okay. Love with archery, man. Yeah, it's hard to beat. I did one of those. Uh, we'll stop this here for a second. That should be a good little spot. I did one of those uh, youth. I don't know what they call it. You go through the trail and shoot the different targets. That's a That's tournament. What it is. So fun. I haven't done one since, but I was in like I was like a junior in high school when I did it. Get him. There he is. I'm stuck over here. <laughs> Got him. There you go. Pretty. Another chicken mon monkey bass. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's been a couple times. <laughs> what are some of the craziest things you've heard this lake called? I've heard. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> they are good. Yeah, man. The trick yeah. Strike King Finesse Worm. awesome there's one yep yeah right You're right there hit it nice little two pounder maybe pound and three quarters Yeah, I think there's a big bass right in the middle of that. About to hit him. Let's see if one comes out. Comes out to play. Oh yeah, he did. He didn't need it. Oh man. Came out of it though. He came what out of it. Stump? Look, he's chasing it. Yeah. Ooh. He did. There he is. Got him. That a good one. Ah, I don't think that was the one that followed it because there were like three little ones behind it after that. There was a big one that came out though. That's cool. <laughs> Look at all that brush out there. Straight in front of us. It's tires. Look, you can tell, like, here it just looks like brush, but on here, see all those tires? Yeah. It's all just tires. Do a crap ton of tires in. Yeah. Got it? Okay. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. He's one of those that got bigger as he came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually they get smaller. Like, yeah. Nice. Healthy fish. Yeah. Nice one. Good job, Dylan. Yeah. yeah. Smoked it. Nice. That's right where I had the bluegill beds marked from last year. Oh, yeah. I like that. Let's see if they want that color. We've caught about 10, I'd say, at least. You got another one? Oh, oh, you're on that two, two and a quarter pounder average. <laughs> Bigger average than what I've been catching. Yeah, the three that I've caught. Look at you go. I'll tell you, man, I, everybody makes fun of me, bro. I, I have friends who are like, dude, you're always throwing that stupid net at them. Like, that one's fat, dude. Yeah, that's a healthy fish. Yeah. 
He's two and three quarters. Yep. Hold, hold that one up to that camera over there. Is it on? Yeah. Oh yeah. We got the whole catch. <laughs> Look at that one, folks. Nice one, Dylan. Yeah. Boom. Oh, again. Again. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That should follow the whole bank right here. Wow. I like it. You catch just as many. Can you get behind that? I think so. If you go around. Yeah. You ever go back there? Yeah. I haven't been all the way back to right there, but I've gotten... There he is. There you go. <laughs> it's a small <laughs> mouth. <laughs> That's cool. We got us a small mouth. Now we just need the, the spot that we try to Yeah. This dude lives up to his name for sure. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even get my finger in there to get his the old mid out. Do you really? Make it a spot, dude. It's a largey. Look at us go. Smoking them on the rocks. Baby. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> what was that? The whole front coming in, they might be trying to hold some rocks or some heat. Yep. Hit him. Nice. What you got? That's spot. Spot. Yep. <laughs> the trifecta. <laughs> sure enough. Hold that one up. That's a good spot. Feisty. Yeah, he didn't want to get that one. Yes. Nice spot. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes the trifecta before dark. <laughs> Boom. Can't beat it. Sure enough. All right, it is starting to get a little dark on us out here. And dropping Dylan back off. Dude, uh, had a blast. Had a great time, man. Had a good time. Gonna go eat. We caught about, I don't know, 15 to, yeah. we caught at least 15, I think. Last time I said 10, no one was like, bam, 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 bam. We caught at least six, seven more. Yeah. They were getting bigger, too. They were getting bigger. But we're gonna get off here before it gets dark. And we'll see you guys at dinner, I think. Checking into the campsite see Cody and then we're gonna go fishing in the morning see you guys soon all right just making it back to the camper it is sprinkling guys Cody and I ate dinner and this is our little Airbnb camper what do you Welcome think home. what do you think it's, it's beautiful give nice them a tiny. tour of this huge space. all right here's the tour <laughs> front door cabinets table bedroom <laughs> scout uh, kitchen and bathroom. <laughs> uh, quick little 360 and a shower in there. So, tiny little camper. They definitely uh, took the wide angle shots and made this place look bigger, but it is still <laughs> It'll cute. Be fun. It's still cute. <laughs> this is where we're crashing for the week. So, we are going to get up in the morning. Uh, we're doing something a little different. Our church is hosting a fish fry for the homeless in Chattanooga. So, we brought the fish and we are going to go feed the homeless in the morning at 11 a.m. We might do a tiny bit of filming there, but we're going to hit the water after that. So, we're going to crash for the night, play a couple board games here in the camper, and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning. We are heading to the fish fry. Here's our little camper setup. We are staying in Possum Creek. And had the boat charging last night. Now we're gonna hit the road, go to the fish fry. guys we made it down downtown Chattanooga here we got a tent city in the background and we are setting up right here on the street we're gonna start cooking and feeding people
cooking up some fish. How you doing, Jeffrey? I'm doing great. You doing good? I'm doing great, buddy. Yeah. Jeffrey's awesome here. We've been talking about the good Lord and everything he's doing in both our lives and the restoration he's done for both of us, man. All praise and honor to Jehovah. Amen. Amen. And we're going to eat some fish. We're going to eat some fish. Thank <laughs> yeah, you for good. your good fishing talent. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, we've, we've fed about 100 people so far, guys, and it's been good. It's been really good. I'm excited to hit the water this afternoon. We got about seven more bags of fish. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, we just got on the water, picked up my buddy Dylan again. Back again. You ready? Yeah, man. Sc we got Scout with us. Scout, guess what? We're going fishing, boy. We're going fishing. All right. Beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Oh, we got some bluegill beds on side imaging over here. Woo. Yeah, that's calling my name. We might have to throw on those on the way back. We're going to go... Uh, Fish some new coves, try and find some more fish. I think they're bedding, so we're gonna fish up shallow, look for them, throw that shaky head again, throw the Ned rig, maybe maybe some moving baits, we'll just have to see. A little cold front hit last night at 40 degrees, and then it's gonna be 40 the next few nights. So the water was 70 yesterday, and I bet over the next few days of practice here, by the end of this video, water's gonna have cooled off. We'll just have to see what that does to them. But let's go catch some fish, guys. Beautiful out. Scout's ready. Captain Scout, let's go. Sweet. You got one already? I'm not oh, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did I like that Garmin? Yeah, it's smooth. I didn't even know they made one, man. Why does it keep doing that? The transducer's not disconnected because it's working. color for a little bit see yeah you better green watermelon you better throw that yeah. color <laughs> I need to get some more of those before the tournament there he is oh dude he's he he's on a bed I bet you money it's a largey on a bed Think so? yeah I'm gonna catch him on this cast <laughs> are you seeing him on the grass no he, that one he just had it was just holding it went out by the duck line and already marked some? No. There he is. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> it probably he's is toying, a little spot. <laughs> he is toying with me. <laughs> What's he doing, bro? He's on a bed for sure. A little baby spot, probably the size of your middle finger. Yeah. These dudes are just staring at us. Don't hook him if you get bit, alright? They're definitely in the tournament. There he is, bro. Look, he's on there good, too. He's yeah, still on there. On as soon as they go around the corner, I'm setting the hook. One, two, three, four. Oh, dude. There was a fish on yeah, there. Did I you see him? Yeah. He, he hung me up on a log, bro. He wrapped me around the log. That was a heavy one. He was pulling my pole down. Ooh, buddy. That's what I get for not hooking him. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, he sniffs him out, you know. Dude wrapped me all the way around that log. Worth not setting the hook? Eh. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Hey, just let me know in the tournament you come back and catch that fish with I will. Yes. Well, no. He let go of it, and I was behind the oh, log. I thought he was still on there. I just set the hook in the log. Yeah. Yeah. How you boys doing? Did I meet you the other night? Last night? You catching any? Well, get him. Keep at him. There he is. Yeah. Didn't feel very big, so I set the hook. Fighter, man, yeah, look, look at, at that. that. Man, going sideways, man. 
Wow. That's beautiful. First one of the day, folks. All right. 14 incher would not have kept. Oh, I hit it. Oops. Dinner bell. Yes. Get up and press the... Oh my gosh. Got him? Yeah. All right. Good one? Nah. There you go. Spotty. Little spotty. Number two. We're on our way to the trifecta again. Number Dylan. one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. <laughs> Baby. All right, so where's that small mouth out? Let's go ahead and get that one knocked Yeah, out let's just go ahead and do it, and then we can focus <laughs> on the big ones. <laughs> I had a good time going down for the salt last year. Yeah, that, that was, was the so first fun. time I ever fished it. And you guys whacked them punching during practice or whatever. Yeah, I know, man. We had such. It was so disappointing. Got him. Oh, right out of the lay down. Yeah. Right where he should have been. Yeah. He was healthy. So healthy. He'd be a small keeper. Man, he's a humpback. Yeah. Look at, <laughs> look at his spine, bro. <laughs> Somebody set the hook on him hard as a youngin. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an old crooked tail. I better let him go back to his lay down. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time finding anywhere else. <laughs> pole. <laughs> on the pole. Just under 15 inches. What does that tell you? Got on the docks. Yeah. We can fish a few of them. I couldn't believe. Did you yeah, catch you a big catch one them. doing it? I like five pounds. That's a giant. Yeah. Through that grass too. Yeah. That's the first time I'd ever punched. Logan, yeah. Logan's talking There's a lot one. about fishing. Oh. Right. Yeah. There. Fight hard. Yeah, buddy. Another two. Another two. It's in a culvert like this in Saudi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All 60. Oh, I don't know. Gosh. <laughs> Woo. Another humpback. I'm kidding. That's my third humpback today. Look at that. <laughs> Big old, look at that. <laughs> 15 inch. Feisty fish. <laughs> With this pole and just throw at him. I landed right there. I'm sinking down. All right, so I'm going to reel it up. I'm going to come over to the top of him. I'm dropping in on him right there. That wind's blowing me around a little bit. Just tick the pile. There's a big one. It's a big one in that pile, bro. I just came. Ten bucks says you use this net. <laughs> you got the weed guard on there. Throw it in there. Yeah, why not? There he is. Oh, yeah. Big one, bro. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. That's where the big ones are. I shook off five of these before I came to get you yesterday. Oh, man. See, they pulled out. That's a great fish, dude. Yeah, that's a four. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Thank you, man. Will you give me a little pick? It's my first good one I've, I've actually set the hook on and caught well, I guess here. You, do you have your poles down? There you go. I'm just spot locked. Nice, dude. There we go. It's a beautiful fish. Thank you, man. Spawn down. <laughs> It is spawned out big time. Healed up yeah. and spawned out. Spawned <laughs> the board in the belly. Woo, boy. That's awesome, dude. I love it. All right. I think it's just a fish, yeah. Yeah, it was not a stump. Big old carp in here. Not carp. <laughs> wow. 
catfish. No kidding. Not carp. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Going for a true mix bag today. Man. Look at that. That dude's been spawning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if catfish do that when they spawn or not, but he's nasty. <laughs> wow. Thought I had a bass. It's like, if those are all bass, watch out. Coming after him. Oh, my bad. That's how, uh, Rough, dude. That's how I invest in there my he is. properties. Yeah? You flip a bunch? Uh, I'll try to do one a year and hopefully that one pays for a uh, purchase. Nice. So. All right, just getting back to the camper after day two. Dylan and I caught, I don't know, probably about 10 or 15 this afternoon. I set the hook on a really good one in a new area I'd never been to. I probably should have shook it off. That was a nice one. We grabbed a bunch more brush or stumps in the area and I'm excited to get back out there. See if we can find tomorrow. Seems like the better quality are hanging off the bank a little bit. That that one we big one we caught was post spawn. But we also saw a couple big four pounders on beds. So that's good. They're in different stages. We're just gonna figure them out a little bit more. It's cold front still hitting. Next two days the water's gonna drop temperature. We'll see how it goes. But really good day too. I'm pooped. We're gonna download some footage. We're gonna shower and we're gonna hit the hay. That is for sure. I'm pooped. We'll see you guys day number three of practice in the morning. Good morning. What's up guys? Hanging out with Fidget with Norby. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> That's going in there. No, it's it not. is early. And Andrew, redo it. <laughs> I'm eating some oatmeal this morning. <laughs> Gotta drink my coffee. And we're gonna get out there. It's 46 degrees, so it's pretty cold. It's cold here in the camper. And slept good though. Slept good. So I'm excited. We're gonna load the boat. Downloaded all my footage last night from day two. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. We got two more days of practice left today. And tomorrow, today's going to be about a 12-hour day on the water. So a lot more fishing footage, and so will tomorrow. I'm excited. Let's go get them. Whoo! All right. Chilly morning, folks. Chilly morning. Er. that thump gel on there. You already know. Let's see what we can get. There we go, guys. Got us one. A little brush pile. First one of the day. He is not big, but fun. Still fun. 13 incher. Flung my worm off. It's hard to know how big they're going to be. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies are killing me this morning.
is. Little guy. What's with all these little guys? Feisty. Baby. Stole my worm. All these little guys. Went through that pack. <laughs> got a little cold had to put the rain gear on if you guys need any frog togs gloves shoes flops Gore-Tex style this is the FTX elite suit I love it but anything Frog Talks, go to their website, code AN20, capital AN20. Get 20% off. We got us a third one of the day, folks. Man, he wanted it. Really ate it up there. Spawning, probably. Small keeper. He's got some really cool markings on him. Both his top and bottom lip are black. That's cool. Tail's black. Bottom fin's black. Pretty bass right there did not have the camera rolling on that hook set. Flipping these laydowns, there are some fish in them, but nothing big. Another 15 inch skinny spawned out fish. That's three of those. You guys didn't see the second one along here. Weird, they are the big ones? There's one guys, baby. Baby, little baby. Hmm. Came way back in here to look for beds, and I see some empty beds, but I don't see any on bed. I don't know if it's because they're done or if that cold front pushed them off of it. There's no sun today. Water's way warmer than the air, though. I don't know. But I think we're going to get out of here. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. And another one. What is the deal with all these babies today? Biggins are shut off. Lost my wormy.
Nice. That's a good one. Out here in this grass patch. Okay. Out here in the grass patch. That's the big one of the day, sadly. About a two and a quarter pounder. All right. Thanks for biting, buddy. Back dive. You want them? Hello? Are you there? Look at this bass, guys. He's got a lamprey on him. Look at that lamprey! That's nasty! Jeez. Woo! I want to use him for bait. He's nasty. Oh, we got to get that off of there. We got to help this fish out. We're going to poke him in the head until he lets go. Wow. That's why the shaky head works so well. These lampers in here look just like a little worm squiggling around. That one had been, that was a healthy lamprey. My goodness. Oh, he got off. Little guy. Another little guy. I don't know what's up with all these little ones. All right, guys. We are just getting off the water. It is a cold day. Cold day. We stayed out there for probably uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so... That's nine hours, nine hour day. We moved ramps once, so eight and a half hour day in the cold. It warmed up to about 55 today and it was windy all day. So we are pulling up to NYPD, New York Pizza Department. Never been here before. I'm excited. You ready to go eat some pizza? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's you get go. warmed up? Yes, Good. I did. Good. All right, we're gonna go chat out on some pizza and we'll see you for practice day number four tomorrow. Maybe back at the camper tonight when we're playing some games. Let's go eat. Just pulling back into the campsite. Pizza was delicious. We're gonna have us a little campfire. We're gonna play some games here. And we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. All right, good morning. Here we are. Practice final day for Chickamauga. We are just getting up, just getting light out. Gonna check our charge here. Oh yeah, everything's charged. You always wanna check that. If you've never had a power bank go out in your charger, it happens. Just check for green lights. Make sure everything's charging up. Uh, make sure your outlet didn't cut off. It happens. You don't want to go out there and have your batteries die uh, throughout the day. So we are ready to go. It's cold. It's 40 degrees right now. It was 36 last night and we slept until about 8 this morning. Sun is just coming up. Hopefully by the time we make our 25 minute drive over to Chester Frost, it will have warmed up a couple more degrees. Let's go get them guys. Just made it to the ramp, bundled up. Guys, it is cold. Coldest day yet. We're gonna go put in here and hopefully get on some. Putting in, like I said, at Chester today. Just met Devon at the ramp. How are you hey, doing? Hey man, doing good, how are you? Doing good, good. doing good. Good, so, hope you catch a bunch, Thank man. you, man, have a blessed day. Whew. Chilly, guys, chilly. It's the day the Lord has made. It's gonna be good. We'll see you here in a minute. That was a cold run this morning. We are gonna try dragging a big old worm down here. I'm gonna switch worms. I had this curly tail one on and I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to a normal mag worm. Let's see. Where are they at? There they are. My day box needs a little organized after the, this week. There we go. Junebug bullworm. This one is the 
8 inch. The juice on the lid is right there. Yep. Let's see if we can catch one. Try cranking too if they don't eat it. Maybe a swim bait. See what happens. There's some of this trailer gel on there. Missed one. Oh my gosh, I keep getting bit guys. I missed one three casts in a row now. Not sure why. I'm gonna catch him. Just had another one bite. We let him take it for a little bit. We did not set the hook on him. We tried, but he had already let go, thank goodness. Thank the good Lord. That's two bites in this area. We got this one, guys. He's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a four. He jumped all the way out of the water and spit it. The little med rig. <laughs> I'm the little med rig, Dad. Huh, all right. Cool. Yeah, didn't. Woo! That's a good one. Just had another one get off, guys. Well, guys, we talked to Laker. We talked to Jack Daniels, who lives here. They're both thinking like 12 and a half pounds a day to make the top 25. That's brutal, guys. That is brutal. Seems like it is fishing a little tough, that cold front. I'm gonna fish along this little bank here. See what happens. There he is. Little guy. Another little one. Little baby. Little buck up there on a the bed or something.
there's one. Underneath the walkway, little guy. And he got off. There he is. All right. They are in this marina. That'll work. That's a keeper. That's a fat one. Tree spawner right there, folks. Fat. Fat little mama. Fat little mama. Wanted the Ned. Fat little mama. See you, little mama. Okay, just getting in from the last day of practice. Just re-spooled a rod. That P-Line 17 pound bulk spool. Cody's helped me organize. That's right. Did you have a good day? Yeah. What'd you do all day? I went on a big walk. In Chattanooga? Yeah. With Scout. And apparently she took Scout for a swim because he's all wet and drying out. <laughs> but we're ready. We got our mock combos over here. We have a Nico a wacky rig and a ned rig and we got a mock combos on this side uh they might all be my favorite rod 7.3 medium heavy i think they are now there's one seven foot medium heavy but we have two shaky heads a three sixteenths and a three thirty second then we got a quarter ounce texas rig and we are rigged up ready to go on that side too so i am excited i'm about to go eat at my house when he leaves right what? You're gonna leave that at my house. Leave it at your house? I wish I could, man. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go eat dinner. We'll see you guys at dinner. Okay, we just got back from dinner. We went and ate in Chattanooga at Tremont and they have the best burger. It was so good. Did you like it, Cody? It was so good. So good. We, we were both, both starved. Yeah, we both got the jalapeno burger and it was delicious. But and in the practice video, tournament day one starts tomorrow. I want to share a little verse with you guys. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8 says, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all, things at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work that's so good guys uh, with this video you did get to see a little bit of giving take place just to encourage you guys to go give be a cheerful giver god loves a cheerful giver and we were able to give uh, fish back and feed those in need so it was uh Probably my favorite part of the whole video in the last four days and a good time. We've enjoyed staying in the camper here. What do you think about the camper? It's a little small, but it's cozy and it's just perfect for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Small and cozy. And if we travel with a camper later, we'll probably want a little bigger one. Maybe. <laughs> this thing is tiny. But I'm pooped. Day one of the tournament. We're going to try and win it. Hope you enjoyed practice a little longer episode than normal please give it a share for me and we'll catch you tournament time next video coming out fishing with norby make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it hit that notifications bell it'll be coming out next get excited god bless you we'll see you on the next one